so I'm just chilling and I want to film a video with the new ABH Rivera palette. But before I get a full face makeup on, I thought it would be fun to film a swatch party video. Usually I do swatches on my arm and I thought since I didn't have any makeup on, I would try and do some eye swatches. So bear with me because I've never done this before. Here is what the palette looks like. This just came out of the box. I haven't even touched this, swatched this or anything. I pulled a Karen and I ordered the ABH palette twice. So what happened was I was going to buy it in store on the day of launch because I had misunderstood my Sephora girl and I thought it was coming out in store the same day as it was launching. So I went to Sephora, it was like blizzarding and she's like, sorry, we can't sell you the palette. I was like, dang it. So then I went home and ordered it online on ABH. Well, my ABH tracking says my palette won't get here till March 14th and ain't nobody got time for that. And then I saw the notification on Trend Mood that the Anastasia palette was available on Sephora. So I was like, hey cool, I have flash shipping, so I'll get it on Saturday. So I ordered the palette on Thursday. Usually if I order on Thursday, my stuff arrives on Saturday, but then I checked my tracking and it said it wouldn't get delivered till Monday. And I was like, screw that shit. But I was like, whatever. And then, I walked into the mall on Friday, which was yesterday, because I dropped my mom off so she could go shopping, and JCPenney Sephora literally had one palette left on the shelf, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna buy it and return the other two, <laughs> which is savage. I don't want you guys to judge me, okay, because it's not fair. Shipping screwed me over, it's not my fault, and I really, really wanted to film with this palette this weekend. So that is my story, I'm sticking to it. So yeah, let's see how this thing, I've never done this before. I might not even upload this video. I don't know. I will use the brush cleaner from Cinema Secrets in between swatches, and I'm using the Morphe brush. This is the M. 505. I love how this thing blends eyeshadow, especially matte shadows. I've been using this with the new Charlotte Tilbury palette that I got, the Icon palette. Oh my god, so good to blend with. So let's get into it. Here is the palette. It feels like denim almost and it has this beautiful blue inside. Okay, first shade of sales. It's like a matte white shade. So I'm just going to dip the brush in there and just see how this looks. I've literally never done this before, you guys, so this is gonna be interesting. Should I do mattes first, or? I don't even know, I don't even know. So I'm just building it up, because obviously I want you guys to see if it's pigmented or not. That is pretty. What do you guys think? More? Definitely feels like the ABH formula. It's very, you know, powdery. There's kickback, but love that about this particular formula. Let's go into Estate, which is like a peachy color. That was a lot of kick up. So I think this would be like a crease color for a lot of light skin tone gals. I like it on my lid. It's pretty in the crease. It's not doing a whole lot. So this is the shade Estate. And this is the shade Sales. Okay, so the next shade we're gonna do is Yacht, which is like a beautiful taupey copper. Oh God, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, it's so pretty. This is definitely gonna be like a beautiful lid color for me. Also putting some in my crease just so you guys can see it. So this is Yacht, which is this color right here. Next shade is one I love seeing in palettes. It's a mustard called Cabana. And Cabana is like my favorite neutrals to wear these days in the crease. 
I found a very beautiful mustard in a Wet n Wild quad or a Wet n Wild palette I used in an eye look a while ago. This one is definitely blending into my skin tone. I wish there was a little bit more yellow in this. But that is the shade Cabana. Okay, the next shade is called Seashells and it's like a beautiful shimmer blue. Teal blue. Wow, it's pretty, it's very mermaid. Very mermaid. That's seashells for you guys. The next shade is a beautiful peach called Coastline. I feel like that would be a pretty crease color, hopefully. So soft. Oh my goodness, pretty. Very dusty though. Very pretty peachy color. So that is the shade Coastline. Gorgeous. Okay, next shade is a pink shimmer called Palim Palermo. Palermo? <laughs> beautiful. I have never seen a pink shimmer by ABH. I don't think. I Well, there's pink champagne, but that's like a silvery pink. This is like a hot pink almost. It's going to be a beautiful crease shade as well. And I'm using a conceal, um, uh, I'm using a blending brush to do this. So obviously, you know, it's not going to be as patchy. <sighs> I just wanted to give you guys an idea and I like to work with a blending brush because then I can kind of blend the shade in and it kind of gives you guys an idea of what it would look like if it was actually blended versus like padding on. Hopefully that makes sense. I literally never watch I swatch videos you guys. It's not my thing but I wanted to try it see if it like helps someone you know with my skin tone kind of identify if this palette could work for them. So this is the shade I think everyone's been dying for and this palette is Bahamas and it's like a hot pink. Definitely have not seen ABH do a shade like this before. And I believe this is a pressed pigment, isn't it? From them, I can't remember. Somebody will have to tell me. Very pink. There's definitely a lot of fallout here. But maybe it's better if you tap it instead of blending it. I don't know. There is an idea of what the shade Bahamas looks like on tan skin. So there's that. The shade definitely stained my eye. Uh, the shade Bahamas, but that is a pigment thing. But, you know, they talk about that on the box, so... Can't get too mad about it. So the next shade is interesting. It's called Seaside and it's a very grayish glitter. I'm actually curious. Let me just, ooh. Okay, maybe I should do the shimmers with the finger because look at that. Wow, that's a pretty color. It's like a purple gray with like tons of shimmer in it. Do you guys see that? So that's really a beautiful color, definitely very unique. Sorry, I decided to try finger swatches on that because so I was just so curious as to what a fully pigmented swatch on that would look like. And next is Monte Carlo, which is a more muted pink in the palette. And I am definitely gonna blend that in. Um, now this is my eye that's stained pink, so but hopefully you guys can get an idea of what that pink shade is like. It's very muted and it's almost like blending away. So there it is. It's Monte Carlo and Seaside. I don't feel like Seaside is very appropriately named. When I think of a shade called Seaside, I'm thinking like bam, blue, <laughs> but this is very muted. 
Okay, I'm gonna switch up the sides. This one stain, so I'm gonna finger swatch Inheritance, which is the beautiful yellow gold shade. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm, nice and vibrant, just as expected. Wow, that's beautiful. What do you guys think? And then I'm gonna go in to the matte shadow, which I thought these two colors would pair really well together. They did a purple by a yellow. So Inheritance and Canes, I think would look so beautiful next to each other or, or like in an eye look. I don't know if I've ever done a purple and yellow eye look, but I'm really leaning towards doing that for my first impressions. So that's beautiful. And we're gonna pop that in the crease. First impression, not as pigmented as I thought, but also my eye is getting a little tired from all the swatches. And so there's the purple. It's definitely like a grape color. So there's that. I feel like I don't have big enough eyelids to do eyelid swatches. Okay, my eye is ready to be almost done with this situation, so. I don't know how people do this with makeup on because if I had to wipe eyeshadow off and not destroy the rest of my eye makeup, it would be a miracle. I really don't know how people do it. They're so talented. So let's go into the last shimmer and the last matte in here. The shimmer is called Mediterranean. It's beautiful blue with purple flecks. Ooh, this is pretty. This reminds me, oh my God, that's beautiful. This reminds me of a shade, ooh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. What on earth, ABH? Oh, are you guys kidding me? Look at it. It's got like purple sparkles, silver sparkles, blue. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked. Um, this shade kind of reminds me of the blue shimmer in the Charlotte Tilbury Icon palette. And then the last shade is a shade called Palm, which is like a chocolate brown. It looks like ABH fudge. If you have a lot of their palettes, they usually have a nice dark brown that you can throw in the crease or in the outer corner just to do like a smoky look. So there it is right there. Oh my God. I love the shade Mediterranean so, so much. It's probably my favorite shimmer in this palette. So we're gonna have to make some moves, you guys, and get to filming. But I just wanted to do a little eye swatch party for my tan skin girls in case they were curious. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my arm too, just so you guys have an idea of what to expect on my skin tone or if you have a similar skin tone to mine, I do list all my foundation shades in the description box if you guys um, are interested in seeing if we are a similar skin tone, just because I know that is helpful to y'all. So here are the first four shades. We've got Sails, Yacht, Seashells, and Palermo. And then the other three shimmers in the palette are Seaside, um, inheritance and Mediterranean. Oh, these are beautiful. So there they are, gorgeous. And so the, uh, there are six shimmers, one matte here, the white shade sails, and then all these shades on the bottom row are matte as well. Okay, so here are the mattes. We've got Estate, Cabana, Coastline, Bahamas, Monte Carlo, Canes, and Palms. So here are all the swatches for all you tan girls out there. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you know this was helpful because I'll do more videos like this if you guys enjoy them. Sorry I don't have any makeup on. Seemed like it would defeat the purpose to have makeup on and then take makeup off and too much, too much for me. And anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.